right, here he is, your teammate, the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Cain Velazquez. And a lot of people ask what could have been had he been able to stay healthy. No denying his status, though, as one of the best heavyweights we've ever seen. It's unbelievable that you consider him one of the greatest of all time, even though he's missed about four years due to injury. But when you look back to the Junior Dos Santos trilogy, getting knocked out in the first round, losing his heavyweight championship to dominating him over the course of 10 rounds is unreal to watch. The cardio, the pace, the pressure, the crispness, the tightness, and the accuracy that Kane possesses in his striking was truly amazing. No wasted energy. The Antonio Rodrigo fight, Noguera, the Noguera fight oh. was truly a master class of striking yes. with Kane finishing him in one round. Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shemayev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shemayev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamzat in the octagon. And of course, many people hearken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, King And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, here we go. Hamzat Shemayev, with much fanfare, is back as this round gets underway. And not the fight during which to get up and grab a beer. This man usually works quickly, fights as if he's double parked out front. And he believes in this particular matchup that he is going to get a knockout or submission. And it might just happen here early in this round. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Velasquez. Get up, get up, get up, get up. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Velasquez is in half court. Get the ball here. Oh. Making all these shots count. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Velasquez is right back to the full mount. Three minutes now to go in this one.
Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Velazquez. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, big shots from the top. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. Velazquez is back in full mount. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. I need you to scramble, scramble. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Kane Velasquez. Oh! Final second to round one. Oh. She might be getting absolutely oh. worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in agency here as he tries to get right, back up. You did okay that round, but I need you to avoid the ground. Let's keep this fight standing. You have a really good chance at knocking him out on his feet. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha, he loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. thrown any strikes to the body so far in this fight, and he's making the job of his opponent easier. I think he's got to start mixing things up, throwing some shots to the body, because at least at this point, his opponent is... He's going to guillotine! Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Good work from the top here by Velasquez. Another strike lands from the top. Now he's going full mount. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. He's got to be careful here. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Velazquez. Great shot from the top position. He did a great job of reversing the position using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. Oh, you're talking about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Velazquez is in half guard. Great defense by this fighter. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Chimaya. Nice shots landing from the top position. 
He's very accurate in the ground pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Coming up next. Great job, man. Here, take a deep breath. Nice job. How do you feel? That's right. You look amazing. Now you should smell blood. You almost had him out this time. I want you to feel it. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent from the Ready top fight. position. Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Nice. Nicely done. Velazquez is in half court. Lands the ground and pound strike. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, right into Mount. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land in the top position. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Velazquez. He's got to start throwing now. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Ground and pound strike there now. Another ground and pound strike lands. Velazquez ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. minutes to go. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Velasquez gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. It got checked. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, he's to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got the finish. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Thirty seconds to go in the round. Final seconds here. Oh, All right, three no. rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go, fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter? Oh, it's a perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. Oh, and now the 
underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Jockeying for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Takedown defense is there. Oh, picks him up, DC! He's got him up. Great oh. single leg. Put him down. You are a child, boy. You belong to me. Imagine being able to pick up another man and oh. say, you go here, bro. You but go I, here. I can't. I I've done it before. John, I've done it before. <laughs> oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, man, that was sick. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by the last kiss. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. While sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers, there have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. This is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Velasquez. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Shimaev's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Beautiful transition. He's gotta start to get to the get up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up, you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the underhook, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. Great submission defense. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Velasquez. There it is, now he's on the mountain. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Under 20 here. seconds now to go. She might have in half guard now. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh. Saved by the bell, there is the final horn. He was getting grounded, he was getting pounded just at the end of the round. So you see, he's taking some of this time here to get back to his feet. Only 60 seconds on the clock between rounds. We will see if this young man can recover. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Do it. Fifth and final round. Right on the button. Oh, that is as good a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 28 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.